Hello, uh, this is VO3 SUA from InKids. Uh, let me introduce you today to EasyBITX version 2. This is our new transceiver kit which can be operated on and built on 40 meters, 20 meters and 80 meters. So basically we have uh, two type of uh, kits. Uh, one is a uh, through hole kit which you have to assemble uh, like uh, this one we have out here. This is a PCB. Okay. So the PCB is in basically two parts. The first is exciter and we have another part which is the DDS part and it also has the audio amplifier mounted on this board itself. So we have the DDS and audio amp board both on a single front panel. So this front panel is mounted on the main exciter board through these bug pins. Okay. So here we are. Now this is mounted. Basically, uh, this transceiver, uh, we have made it much more compact uh, from the earlier one. That was uh, Easy BITX version 1. Uh, uh, though some people prefer the old one, the old type of kit people prefer uh, with wiring and all, you know, those sort of things. But in this, we don't have this. Uh, in this, we have in fact uh, used uh, the same, uh, or you can say a same technique which was used in uh, micro BITX. So basically you can see on the front side we have uh, the stereo uh, connectors mounted, the headphone, PTT mic and the volume and the volume control. These are all mounted on the front panel. Sorry, uh, they are all mounted on the motherboard, that exciter. And um, this makes it a bit easier because there are some problems associated with wiring. So in this basically uh, we try to eliminate those problems. But if people like to prefer uh, the version 1, we still have the boards for them. But uh, we preferably like that people start building on this and get some uh, experience how to build this. I think so this will be much more easier to build. So here's the board. Complete board. Okay. Only two boards. Now you could build this for 20 meters, 40 meters or 80 meters. Okay, let me show you another board. Uh, this board is the SMT version. Okay. Now here is it. Here is it. So I have not put mounted the LCD as yet. So we have this SI5315 sitting out here. This is the DDS and the LCD and here comes the audio amplifier. So here are the connectors, mic PTT and headphone. And in center we have this LED for transmit and receive function. Uh, out here we have this audio control and uh, this connector is for the speaker. So uh, let me show you. Let's take this off. Okay. We take this board out. Now we have this board. 
so you may see that some components are not mounted as yet maybe this tl071 is missing out here i had taken it out so uh, you can see that it is uh, made in such a way that anyone could could understand which stage is which stage because there is enough space left on the pcb so it's not cramped uh this is a band pass filter i have not mounted the coils yet but i see that i have mounted these smd capacitors for band pass filter this is the low pass filter we have uh, a bnc and sma connector for the antenna so any option could be cho we could choose uh here we have this irf final transistor uh one change that we have done is that we have now instead of 2n2219 we have uh, two numbers of 2n3906 uh instead of 2n2218 so this is the modification that we have done so we get a bit of higher power uh, than what we were having from 2n2218 so the drive is uh much more enhanced uh with these two transistors so this modification we have done so uh what else so this is a complete smd module smt module so so either you could build this one or you could build the through all one so both uh, both the options are available so if you would like any of those you could contact me or or uh, try to see what's available on the website so this was about this smt so we plug this in back so quite compact okay now what do we do uh, what do i show you okay uh, now i'll show you a complete set how it is built up so uh, this is a complete set that i built okay let me take the cover out okay so you see this is the volume control here we have the tuning okay mic rx dx headphones so yeah so what does what do we have okay so in this i basically used another type of toroid uh that's having the same al value what t37-43 has uh, i did it for a test but it works uh, perfectly okay so here's the built one uh, this is a through hole one uh out here if you are a bit confused that why do we have this three connections for supply power supply so let me turn this first okay i'll just turn this around and explain it to you okay here we are okay so we have 12 volts and 24 volts what does that mean uh basically your transceiver is going to operate on 12 volts uh, but your x your uh, linear amp uh, that is the irf 510 that we are using can be operated either through 12 volts or 24 volts or up to 28 volts so uh, the final supply is kept separate so here we come okay here we have this this wire this green wire this one present it's operating on 12 volts 
So so we have it connected to the switch it is giving which is giving 12 volts okay now if we want to operate this on 24 volts so we take this wire out and we can use this connector this 24 volts connector and uh, give the supply uh, give the supply here so this will be your 20 so you would require a transformer of uh, that has two voltages 12 volts and 24 volts uh, you will get 12 volts here for the exciter and 24 volts here for the PA so this is about uh, the EZB ITX I think so I have uh, given you sufficient info to let you know uh, what is the transceiver about and how it looks like you get a, you get some feel about it we have a three uh, inch speaker uh, that gives sufficient audio so i hope i have uh, uh, done this video to give you some explanation uh, as for a easy bitx kit so thank you and best of 73s i uh, will come back with some more videos on easy bitx and our other kits thank you and 73s